How are y'all? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa May God's peace and blessings be with you, inshallah. Today's video is a little bit different. It's dealing with what's going on in Palestine, my perception of it at least. And you may ask, what are your credentials? Good question. My credentials are that I've been banned for life from Twitter, X, way before it came became X. Instagram, my original Instagram was abruptly removed on Christmas Eve 2020. I had been covering the Donald J. Trump, my perceptions of what was going on, and apparently either a coincidence or somebody didn't like it. Either way, those are my, I guess, credentials. They say October 7th, the day that they claim that it's now worse than 9-11. Anytime they exaggerate, the next thing gets bigger, the next thing gets bigger. You have to realize though, like, it's not Hamas. It's, there may be a group called Hamas. They may look brown, browner than this, have a beard up to here. They might wear a galabella. They might pray, probably more than me. That doesn't mean they're Muslim. They're just guys that were have been recruited by powerful people. Recruited, funded, because these guys, nobody has that kind of money. People from the street. Let's say Hamas was a real people from the street terrorist group. Nobody has the kind of money to buy a single rocket, much less uh, 1,500 of them. And who's gonna teach them how to, how to launch them? And who's gonna train them? You know, it's like impossible. And if somebody really did have that money, the last thing they're gonna do is piss it away in boring politics. Nobody's gonna be that big of a believer of any nonsense to Somebody gives you 300 million. Oh, I'm gonna let me go buy some missiles. Nobody's gonna do that. With that said, you know, that's my perception of it. Everybody has to write their opinion. Um, right, they said October 7th. Okay, so leading up to October 7th, I have a friend who closely keeps up with, with this. And right before he told me that Putin had said and that one of the Gulf countries, presidents had said that there was suspicious activity in the Mediterranean with aircraft carriers roaming around from the West. And then boom, um, October 7th, the tragedy, the tragic event happened. And that's when allegedly Hamas allegedly launched 1500 missiles into Palestine, what they call Israel. And why would they do that? The shaitan makes the orders, the shaitan brings the money, says launch these, do this, that. Well, they launch them. And then their, their news networks, because they own every single news network with the exception of RT Russia today. Even Al Jazeera or whatever, they own it. George Soros, all the other guys like him, but he's the main chief. Doesn't matter what language they speak, doesn't matter what part of the world, they own every single uh, cable, satellite, internet, news channel, newspaper, whatever, with the exception of Russia today. And a few other decentralized newspapers and stuff like that. But so their news channels, Oh, look at what the terrorist Islamist group of Hamas did. While in reality, it was, technically you can say Israel and the West bombed Palestine to then have the grounds to uh, defend themselves. And because if they were to just attack, it would, somebody, would probably be more willing to intervene. But I'm even beginning to lose hope in that. That's why I said it so cautiously. Because I think we all kind of have a good idea that it's not what they say, but even then people are hesitant to intervene. They basically have given themselves a warrant to go in there and 
destruct the place. The Gaza Strip, other civilians, uh, just the stuff, the cool stuff we've seen. And what's their overall goal? Well, uh, world dominance. And if you take a look at, you know, Palestine is one of the ones they've had an eye for a while, but it's kind of been like kept on the back burner, I guess. Uh, what are the two other ones that the just news, CNN and even Fox News together alike in unity equally hate uh, Russia, China, North Korea. Why? They claim because they're bad people. The real reason is they cannot get a grip of them. They cannot get a hold of them. They've gotten a hold of just about everybody else. They own just about every el everybody else in some way, shape, or form. They're compromised. They're, they can't go back. Once you make a deal with the shaitan, you cannot take it back. You cannot go walk back, walk out. I guess they got frustrated with Ukraine that they decided to frustrated with Ukraine and embarrassed by Russia. So, okay, let's take away the focus from this and do this. My opinion, my perception. And so that's where we are, where we are. Very tragically, sadly. Uh, there's no way a group of people from the street that give themselves the name Hamas has $600 billion just by walking on the streets of Gaza. And then they decide to, how are they going to spend that fortune? Oh, let's buy missiles, rockets, and and fly them over to uh, Palestine. No, somebody orders them. The same people that then attack Palestine. So they have a reason, a cause, the grounds to attack Palestine. And that's what they tried to do with Russia two years ago. And they loaded up Ukraine. They've been loading, they were, they have been loading up Ukraine since 2014. Donald Trump was not going to allow it. And then these same people, well, they kick out Donald Trump. He won the election, no doubt about it. And then after they kick him out, Al Qaeda goes nuts. And then uh, they go back to pl plotting the attack in Russia with all these uh, mercenaries from everywhere. Now, Russia knew Putin is very smart. And he attacked them before. But he only attacked the mercenaries, the arsenals, the places they were storing the personnel and the arsenals. He didn't attack civilians. And nobody talks about that, but back then, the Western graphic news media, look at what Russia's doing. They're just destroying Ukraine. No, that was not the case. Ukraine was destroying itself. And now, nobody's saying, look at what Israel's doing. No, not a single person is saying that, except us. But who are we? I guess nobody's. But in terms of celebrities, world leaders, countries, nations, not a single sound has been made. And all we can do is do what we can and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to intervene in Palestine and bring justice and bring the, these wicked beings to justice. He will eventually, he will eventually, no doubt about it, and there's going to be their biggest regret. But while we're still here alive, we can make dua, we can just keep them in our thoughts and prayers. But I believe that's really what has been happening and is happening in Palestine. There are actually Jewish people in Palestine, the original Jewish people that never left Palestine. They're against a state of Israel, and they're also being treated very harshly by these so-called Jewish that came from Europe but look nothing like Jewish and somehow they came up with Israel and they're occupying the territory, so. 
and Christians, they're also attacking Christians that have the same mindset too. They want to be, say, part of Palestine, not accepted. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intervene, inshallah. May He bring peace there to us, to everybody. All we can do is hope and pray to Him. Inshallah, He will. And I'll leave you all my peace. Assalamu alaikum.